welcome to a new video. In this video, we will be covering the section 2 from the chapter My First Steps. So, before proceeding, I request you to subscribe to the channel so that you can see the updations on time. Let's begin. Section 2. So, before going to this portion of our chapter, we have to know some words which have been used in this chapter, in this paragraph. So, let's check which are they. We have to know what is the meaning of the word vivid. It means clear images in the mind. Bowling. Gallery. Kneel. Law. It is throwing or hitting in a high arc, like you throw a cricket ball in the arc form. Okay, so that word, the action word that we use is low. Similar meaning of throwing, but it in a arc form. Then comes bank to strike something forcefully in the context of what have been used in the chapter. Frightened to be afraid or anxious. Shrugged is just to ignore. A gallery means balcony. Kneel is to kneel down on your knee or come down on your knee. Okay. So these are the words to be used in the first paragraph. The other one we can see later. So let's read the first paragraph. How did Sunil begin playing cricket? It's a question mark. That means it's a question being asked. Who helped to develop his talent as a cricketer? That's again a question. And then let's read on. So we have to read it to get the information. My most vivid recollection of my childhood cricket playing days is the time I almost broke my mother's nose. She used to bowl to me in the small gallery of our house where we played our daily matches. Since the area was small, she would kneel to bowl and rather lope the ball to me. I hit one straight back and caught her bang on the nose which started bleeding. Although it was a tennis ball, the distance between the two of us was very short which accounts for the pose with which the ball hit her. I was frightened but she shrugged it off, washed her face and as the bleeding stopped we continued the game. But for the rest of the day it was only forward defense for me. I restrained myself and played no attacking shots. Okay, the first paragraph is done. So we can see some difficult words that have tried to put out the meaning there. Uh, restrained is there. That meaning is not available there. Frightened. Shrugged. Vivid. Kneel, bow, bank. These are the words we have to know the meaning of. So the first word is vivid. It means clear images in the mind or if you go for reading this line, my most vivid recollection of my childhood cricket playing days. That means Sunil Gavaskar is a cricketer. He is writing an autobiography where he describes how his childhood uh, has been and how he came to playing, um, how he played cricket and who helped him to develop his talent. So that we can see here. So he is telling like he had a recollection when he thinks of the childhood memories, the most, uh, most of the things that comes to his mind from his childhood days are those days when those day when he broke his mother's nose 
and he used to play cricket with his mother. She used to ball. Ball means to throw the ball. So the two words are there which has different meaning. One is ball, that is your cricket ball. Another one is bowl. It has another meaning containing the word katora or katori. Or ball is a dish. The action of throwing ball is known as ball in this context. So she used to throw ball to this person that is Sunil Gavaskar in their small gallery. The gallery means their balcony. There we used to play our daily match. That means they used to play daily this game of cricket using a tennis ball. So they were not using a cricket ball then. It was a tennis ball. Since the area was small, she would kneel to ball. Since they had a little space, she had to come to her knee to ball because he may be a small boy. So if he is throw from there, it may he may not be able to hit the ball or it may go out. So because maybe because of that, she has to come to that position of kneeling down. And another option is she just used to throw the ball to him in a arc form. So already we have seen what is the meaning of lob. It is throwing in the arc form. Okay. One hit one straight i hit one straight back and caught her bank on the nose so it hit very hard forcefully on her nose and it started to bleed that means blood started coming from her nose first the ball hit her hit his mother's nose and blood started to come from her nose and he got afraid what happened what is the meaning of i here I, every time, since it is an autobiography, it means Sunil Gavaskar. Okay. So, Sunil Gavaskar is telling, he got frightened, he got afraid and he got tensed. What happened? But she shrugged it off. She just ignored that. She didn't, she didn't care about it. Like she started to bleed. She didn't get panic and she just uh, washed it off and the bleeding stopped. And they continued their game. V means Sunil Gavaskar and his mother. But for the rest of the day, it was only forward defense for me. I restrained myself and played no attacking shot. So he became a little panicked because his mother's nose started to bleed. Sunil Gavaskar just restrained. He controlled himself playing little shots. Like uh, not a worry. Like if he, if he started to bat with his using his bat, it should not go and hit her so that they play a safe game. Okay, so these are the words you have to know in the first paragraph. Let's check the second paragraph. So, let's go to the word meaning section. In the second para, it is in the blood. Okay, so what is the meaning of in the blood? Just think, that means like something you get from the heredity. Like if your father or your great grandfather has the similar talent, you may have that the similar character or those uh, features in your in your heredity, so that you, for example, if a person ha likes to play cricket, his family may be motivating him, or he has that talent of playing, then we call it as in the blood. You will come to know in the context of the chapter. And we read the second paragraph. Keen is eagerness to know something. Aspects, a particular part or feature of something. Privilege is, that means, that advantage of being a person. Okay, so some people have the privilege of being, example, if you see, privilege means, um, for example, if a celebrity is there, if a person is a celebrity's kid, he may get an advantage of, or being famous. Okay, though he doesn't work in a film, he gets to have the privilege of being fame, famous because he is a celebrity's child. Okay, this is just an example. It is not a real thing just to know what, what does it, what it means. Reckon is to consider Succumb, 
fail to resist pressure or negative force. Souvenir, anything that is kept as a remainder of a person. Example, like you get magnets from different places sometimes. Just stick on to your uh, places where you have that iron thing. So that thing, souvenir, it's a souvenir. That means that keeps reminding you of, you of a person, a place or something. So that thing is known as souvenir. Stump, you know, while playing, playing cricket, you have that wicket. Stump is three pieces of wood which forms a wicket. So once the ball hits the wicket, or the three wood pieces, we call it a stump. Okay. So those who knows cricket, they may be aware with this word. So this is a spelling. Try to remember the word meaning so that you add it onto your vocabulary list. Okay. Next one is um, let's go to the chapter. So it's a little lengthy paragraph. Let's see what is being said here. Cricket, to use a clinch, is in my blood. My father was a good club cricketer in his days and keen student of the game. He's talking about his father. As I told you, he's telling. about in my blood so his he might be getting it from his father or great grandfather or from his mother or his maternal side okay even now we have interesting discussions on various aspects of the game then i have found his advice inval invaluable in the development of my career so if you check aspect is another word as I have already said, I have had the privilege of having a cricketing mom. So, he is calling his mother a cricketing mom who inspired him or he who helped him to develop his talent. Who helped, helped me to take the first steps as the chapter's name is the first steps in the game. I have come to love. So, who helped him to grow up his talent is or cultivate his talent is his mother who helped him so being a mother she is helping her son to develop his career or his liking for a game and he says and his father was also a good club cricketer and he used to play the game and he was very eagerly looking for the game which game they are talking about cricket and he advises he gets a good advice from his side for his career development as well and privilege means he had so, so consider why he's saying it's a privilege because maybe a person two people are there okay person one and person two so this person if he has somebody to encourage him to play the game it's a plus point for him plus that plus is known as privilege and maybe this he so this person also likes to play the game but he doesn't have anybody to help him or encourage him to or to provide him an environment uh, where he can boost, he can encourage or he can play cricket like the first person. So he doesn't have the privilege. So privilege of being born in a cricket family. So he has to work hard to get the get the Thing. So, the word privilege helps this person in that case. Okay. So, this mother helped Sunil Gavaskar to take his first step. Our chapter name is the first step. So, for anything, we need the first steps to be taken. So, she helped him taking the first steps in the game. I have come to love. Yeah, I mean Sunil Gavaskar. My uncle, Madhav Mantri. So this is another person related to Sunil Gavaskar who played for 
India in four official tests. So this person has already played cricket, though not very successfully, was a force to reckon within first class games. So uh, he has an uncle, Madhav Mantri, who also has a cricket background. But though he was not very successful, but he was also considered to be a heretically, you can say, in my blood because of this person too. Whenever I went to my uncle's house, my favorite pastime used to be to take out his pullovers and caress them with a sense of longing. That means, his, whenever he, this person, Madhav Mantri, used to have some pullovers of cricket games. Pullover means it's a costume where his name may be written or a uniform, you can say. So when he used to play that, he had that. So seeing that, being a small boy or a little boy, this person, Sunil Gavaskar, used to take it out and he used to caress. That means he used to just uh, see and think. Maybe he will think that he had the same thing and he just likes it. So he ha he's saying he used to love it and he used to like how do we pamper a kid the same way he used to do that. I was so attracted by the India test pullovers that once I even dared to ask him if I could take one. Dared means to have the courage to ask. So some meanings I have not written here. So dared is to have the courage to ask. So I have, he asked him that he, whether he could take one. That means out of the four pullovers he wanted to take one from his uncle. My uncle told me that one has to sweat and earn the India's colors and I too should work hard to earn the distinction. So being his uncle, he told him one has to sweat. Sweat meaning is whenever we get, our body gets heated up, we see liquid flowing or water coming out of our head and face everywhere. So pasina we can say. In Hindi we say it's Pasina and uh, that sweat, it, the literal meaning is uh, sweat but he has to tell him that you have to work hard and earn the India's color. That means uh, the uniform or that pullover, it's not like you take mine, you have to earn for it. That means he's giving a kind of encouragement to him to work hard to get to that position. Okay. So this is a lesson I have never forgot. So this played a very big role in his life. So this is the lesson that never he forgotten and this made him to think in a different manner and to look forward to play the cricket. Looking back, I am glad that my uncle did not come to my childhood fancy and instead taught me that there was not no shortcut to the top. So, uh, the word meaning of scum is fail to resist the pressure or negative force. Okay. So, he never uh, tried to discourage him and he tried to always pull him up and he told him that you have to work hard to get to that level of cricket and he had to work hard for that. So, they always encouraged him and I was also fascinated by the many souvenirs he had and the large number of trophies he had won. So he used to get little things of reminding him of something, maybe a cricket, maybe a, a cricket badge or something like that. So uh, he he used to get, he means Sunil Gavaskar used to get fascinated by those and seeing his trophies, the person, whenever you win something, some game, you get some uh, prizes for that some most of the time for games you get trophies okay so those kind of things he had and he was fascinated he he used to get excited saying all those things what i liked most was the stump bearing the autograph of the 1952 india and england teams and i loved to linger over the autograph for every autograph of every player so what his his favorite uh, out of the souvenirs what he liked the most was he had a stump and it had stump means already 
it is told for wicket to use that wicket hit three here the batsman will be standing and here the bowler will be there okay so you have this stamp right here so signature of or the auto autograph when it is of some celebrity we call it as autograph and it had the uh, autograph of many players who were there in the 1952 Indian and England teams okay so he liked them the most and he used to see and linger means it is to spend a long time over it okay spending a long time over it so that is what the meaning of linger and he used to check them so he liked to Sunil Gavaskar liked to see the souvenirs he used to like the pullovers so he had all those things and always he was encouraged by his uncle to earn them okay so this is our second paragraph done let's check the third one so before that let's go to the word meaning so linger it's not in the paragraph three we have to shift it to paragraph two so linger is to spend a long time verdict is any opinion or a judgment okay usually a judge passes some kind of verdict you can say tremendous is very great in amount amount is huge big obsession is an idea or thought that fills your mind continuously you get obsessed with something that means something maybe for a game or for something for a food or something like that for some music okay so you get continuously you have the idea in your head abruptly sudden or unexpected beforehand is before an action that means beforehand an event like beforehand a dance program you have to go for the cost costumes and everything like maybe you can try writing sentences for these words as well let's check the third paragraph right from the beginning i wanted to become a batsman so what what does this person want sunil gavaskar he wants to be a batsman and then i hated losing my wicket that means he likes to be a batsman and he doesn't like to lose his wickets as a small or little boys or usually things so they they doesn't like to lose the wicket this became such an obsession with me that it's an obsession that means something that goes inside his head and continuously he thinks about that if the rest of the boy ever got me out that means if he is losing the game i would fight and eventually walk home with the bat that means he would get frustrated and he would come back with the bat and the ball so this used to happen when he was a little boy he's telling his life life story this would bring the game to an abrupt end that means something unpredictable and the game would not end usually a game or cricket or any game should start with some rules and it should end with the similar rules only but what happens is this sunil kavaskar when he used to lose the game being a batsman maybe the bat and the ball is his he used to take it and take it and come to his home so it just ends their game very badly and the other may get angry on that okay since nobody else had a bat and a ball so he used to take the advantage of that okay the boys cursed and called me names so boys usually it, it boys means the other playmate playmate she had it's an obvious bunch uh, of this thing that happens when you take your bat and ball people start to shout on you and they get cursed because when we start a game it's like we have to end the game with the rules okay and we have to undergo the failure we have to understand we have the failures and all but the tension did not last long but what happens this environment that means he takes the ball and everything doesn't last long because they solve out their problems very easily and we generally caught on very well and it they used to continue the game the next time so that's not a very big deal as he says among these early comrades with 
whom I played were the Ambai brothers, the Mandre Mandrekar brothers, and several others who made up our team. So these are the people we used to play with. Okay. Whenever I batted, they would decide beforehand that they would appeal at a particular ball and whether I was out or not. I had to go by the majority's verdict. That means the judgment that the majority pass on before itself, they decide on it. Okay, so that this kind of an, uh, situation never arises. We often played matches against teams made up of boys living in the neighboring building. So they used to form teams with these boys and so that the game scores well and you have to get the fun should be there playing the game. There was a tremendous huge amount of interest in the trophies as we called them. These trophies were small white metal cap, cups for which we all contributed and bought it bought for it as little as rupees 1.50 1. 1. rupees. You have to spend this much amount on buying some trophies so the winning team will have them and the game continued this way. So it was a very positive way of playing like they used to make a team of boys from their neighborhood and they used to play with some encouragement of the trophies. So like this the game went on. So he is, uh, Sunil Kavaskar is telling what he, how he used to play cricket in his childhood days. First he started with his mother playing in his home and how he got tensed with the bleeding when the bleeding happened for his mother's nose and all these things and then afterwards how he used to play with the boys outside and then how the games used to stop and then what they started doing to solve the problems and how they used to contribute for the trophies and win. So these are the three paragraphs where we have seen the childhood experience of Sunil Gavaskar. In addition to this one, he also mentions about his uncle who has played for different matches where he encourages him to earn for the cricket pullovers and the souvenirs. So he is a kind of encouragement in his life and as he says he has blood in his blood. The phrase is in the blood that means he gets more encouragement from his uncle who has a heretical relationship with him and his father who has already played cricket. So. Um, and his mother always encourages him to play. So these were the advantages he had as he discusses. So this in the section 2 we have seen about his childhood experience and how he started playing cricket. Okay. Next one is um, in, in text questions 1.2. So first one is how did Gavaskar break his mother's nose? So as you know, when he was, they were playing cricket in their gallery, since it was a very small space, they were playing with tennis ball, and it hit his mother's nose due to the small distance, and forcefully, her mother, her, sorry, it's not her, it's his, his mother's nose started to bleed. So you can write the answer in your own words. Check the next question. The qualities of his mother's character are brought, brought out through this part of the extract. Pick the two word phrases, words or phrases that best describes her from the ones given below. So some qualities are given here. Let's check what are they. And before knowing that, we have to know what is a word and a phrase difference. So phrase, word is like in this uh, if you take the chapter, my first steps, you have one, two and three words available here. Okay, so they are combined to make a meaningful thing. Whereas a phrase means you have to use them together to give it your meaning. So in the blood word is 
considered to be a phrase. Why? Because if you use in the blood, it gives a proper meaning to you. Okay, you have to use them together to give you a proper meaning. We are not using one word for giving us a meaning. So, this kind of things are known as phrase, whereas these are known as words like my is a word, first is a word, steps are a word. In the blood are three different words, but they are combined to give you a special meaning. So, that is phrase. Okay, so let's check here. She is patient, encouraging, excellent cricketer, clever, unwilling to cooperate, helpful. So let's check what are they. First thing is unwilling to cooperate. She is cooperating with him, playing with him. So she is not an unwilling to cooperate person. She is, if you check, she is having patience to play with the little boy may or may not she likes cricket okay she is an encouraging person she is not an excellent cricketer he talks about his uncle being a cricketer and his father being a cricketer she is clever nothing is mentioned like that here she is helpful she is helping him in one way so patient encouraging and helpful may be the words to describe her or they have told pick the two words so helpful also we don't require because now nowhere it is mentioned so she is patient plus encouraging when Gavaskar says cricket is in my blood he means that take the correct choice he struggles and gives his blood to play cricket no that doesn't that's not a literal meaning his family has taught him the game Let's check. He has inherited interest in the game from his family members. It is a dangerous game. That's not true. This Out of these two, he has inherited interest in the game from his family member. Best suits here. This also is like his family has taught him the game. No, his mother, he used to play with his mother. Then he changed playing with his friends. So his family is not there. The whole family is not there. But he has got the interest from his family. So third option is the best option. What did Gavaskar like to do whenever he went to his uncle's house and why? So already we have seen in the second paragraph where Gavaskar used to go to his uncle's house. Gavaskar used to go to his uncle's house who was a cricketer and he used to take out his followers and caress them with love and longing because he had the interest in cricket maybe and he used to check out his souvenirs as well what lesson did his uncle teach him his uncle taught him the lesson of earning the pullovers or the game or souvenir and always he has encouraged him to play cricket he never helped him by spoon feeding he just made a way for him to get encouraged and do or play better or work hard to get in the top position in the top position of the game there is no shortcut to the top means what does that mean you have a high position in life through shortcuts no that doesn't give you the exact meaning you must work hard to succeed in life Yes, you have to work hard to succeed in life. You don't have shortcuts to get su su uh, success in your life. You can reach the top of the mountain by taking shortcuts. This is not a little meaning. To succeed in life, you must take big jumps. No, you have to work hard. That, so that best suits the uh, answer. The souvenir, which, which souvenir, question number seven, which souvenir did Kavaskar like the most? Why? So he liked the most the stump souvenir where he had the stumps and the autograph of the people from Indian and England team. Why he liked it? Because he had a love for cricket. And his uncle has already encouraged him 
saying you have to earn it be that kind of interest he had Gavaskar says I hated losing my wicket okay what would happen whenever he got out when he got out he used to take his bat and ball and finish the game and he used to go to his home how would the other boys react to this the other boys used to get frustrated at the first but later they came to a conclusion of playing with the trophies and they used to call the other boys from neighborhood to make up another team and all. What does this behavior show about Bhaskar? It shows that he, uh, the behavior that shows Gavaskar has a love for batting and he never want to lose his wicket. So from the childhood he likes to be a good batsman but rather the behavior being a little boy he used to show such kind of behavior that used to frustrate other boys question number nine find words from the passage which means the same as clear clear is vivid next one is controlled or checked it's from paragraph three it is restrained that means by playing used to control himself of great value is invaluable that means you can say what is the value that so invaluable an object kept as a remainder of an event is so very near so very near a strong feeling is obsession getting obsessed to something okay these are the word meanings you can check from your word meaning list so already mentioned paragraph 3 4 you can check there so section 2 is covered and in text question 1.2 is also covered so hope you understood if you have doubts please do comment or send an email to the mail given in the about list and do subscribe, like, share the video to your friends as well. Thank you for watching.